Mr. Jarvis with the homework help for Tuesday, March 5th. And the homework's, according to the students, pretty easy. So we're looking for area and perimeter. So um, they give you that this is a rectangle. So we know this both sides. That So this side's five yards. This would be five yards as well. And this would be two yards as well. So it's two times five because we have this is five yards and this is five yards plus we have the top and bottom two times two plus two times two simple as that so we have 10 plus four equals a perimeter of 14 yards okay and it's not yards squared it's the answer is 14 yards okay so to find the area what they're looking for they're like thinking of how many squares, literally how many squares. Whoops, I have my eraser. Uh, so we're imagining this is two yards and not to scale, five. How many squares would be inside? Oh, I did three across. That's a bummer. No, I need to get rid of that line. So it's just two yards across. So drawing not to scale, for sure not to scale. So to figure out how many squares would be inside this rectangle, you simply multiply five yards times two yards. And that's 10, it's 10 square yards. So it's, you have to say yards or square yards or what you can do is put an exponent of two, indicating that it's a square. Uh, inside these obviously aren't squares because I drew them very quickly and I didn't use a measuring tool or anything. So not to scale. So I'm embarrassed by my drawings. But uh, so the area equals, so put A equals 10 yards square. The perimeter is a distance of 14 yards. So if you're buying a fence, you go all the way around. If you're going to buy grass by the square yard, you'd, how many squares of grass would there be in here? I'm embarrassing myself again. Okay, so I think you guys got it. So I'm going to leave it there and let you finish up the next just five problems more. So good luck with that. And hope you have a great evening. We're starting unit five now.